Hey guys, it's Janice, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some useful iPad OS 15 features for students. Of course, make sure your device is updated to at least iPad OS 15 in order to enjoy these neat features. So let's get started. The first feature is background sounds, which hasn't been talked a lot about. It's an accessibility feature that lets your iPad play a variety of soft noises in the background, which can help you get in the zone and focus on your work. To turn it on, go into settings, accessibility, and then audio and visual, and you'll be able to turn on background sounds. From here, you can choose from ocean, rain, different types of noises, and more. You can overlay this feature on top of any music that might be playing, so if you have Spotify on, you can just enjoy a playlist with some rain in the back. I've been using this feature for when I'm planning my week using my digital planner, and I think students will really like it for studying on the iPad. The next feature is Quick Note. Quick Note lets you use your Apple Pencil to swipe up from the corner of your iPad to bring up a note, where you can write down things quickly and have them saved in your Apple Notes. This can be really handy for jotting down things on the go, for instance, if you're in a lecture and you don't have your note-taking app open. Another handy aspect of Quick Note is if you're reading an article on Safari and you want to highlight a passage, you can actually select that text and drag it onto your Quick Note to save it. You'll also notice that the text will be highlighted directly on the Safari page. So if you're doing some research on your iPad and you need to gather some facts from articles you're reading, this would be a pretty efficient way of doing so. And another nice way to use Quick Note is if you're doing research and you're scouring the internet for good research articles, you can simply just drag the link to the page directly onto the note so you can revisit these pages later. The next feature is multitasking shortcuts. So with iPad OS 15, when you're in an app, you will notice these three dots at the top of your screen, which upon tapping will allow you to split your screen with an app of your choice. So students can now easily pull up different apps for multitasking. For instance, if you're taking notes from an online article, PDF textbook, or you know, using my awesome Notion template for planning. This free Notion template I'll link in the description box below. If you guys haven't yet discovered this awesome productivity system, it's free for students and you might find it helpful for organizing all your assignments and exams, so make sure to check it out. The next feature is photo stacking. If you want to save a lot of images or diagrams from Safari, just pick one photo and then use your other finger to tap on the ones you want and you'll notice that they'll start creating a pile. Once you're done, you can just open up photos and drag them in there. The next feature is focus modes, which is arguably one of the most helpful productivity features Apple has integrated into iPad OS 15. Focus modes lets you customize and tailor your iPad based on what you want to focus on. So for example, if you want to tailor your iPad for studying, you can create a focus mode that only allows notifications from certain people and apps so you don't get distracted, say for example, if I upload a new YouTube video and you get a notification. You can also customize your home screen to look a certain way when you have a focus mode on. So for school, you can put out all your productivity and focus apps and of course your note taking apps. You'll notice that when I turn on this mode for school, I can only access the home screen that I made for this specific focus mode. And I gotta say that Apple really did go all in for this feature because you can also choose to have it automatically turn on at a certain time of day or when you're in a specific location like a library or even when you open an app of your choice. So lots of fun ways to play around with this one and it's certainly one of my favorite iPad OS 15 features. Last but not least for this video is live text. Short and sweet, this is a feature where your iPad can detect text in a photo and allows you to select the text to copy and paste. I know a lot of students doing in-class lectures will find this useful because if you take photos of PowerPoints in class, you can then easily copy and paste that text into a word processor or note-taking app. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.